brevity. Now, brevity means shortness or conciseness of expression. Uh, Brevity means shortness of duration. Concise. Quickness. Abraham Lincoln came to the point so quickly. He was a master of brevity. Have something to say, say it and stop when you're done. The seven wise men of Greece, so famous for their wisdom, all the world over acquired all that fame, each of them by a single sentence consisting of two or three words. Know thyself. Seize occasion. Industry is all. The mean is best. Look to the end of life. The most of men are evil. Haste if thou wouldst fail. Let thy speech be sharp, comprehending much in few words. See, brevity is the best recommendation of speech, whether in a senator or an orator. Good things when sharp. <laughs> are twice as good. Unless you are brief, your complete plan of thought will never be grasped. Before you reach the conclusion, the reader or listener has forgotten the beginning and the middle. The more you say, the less people remember, the fewer words, the greater profit. Be brief, be bright be gone. Build. If you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost. That is where they should be. Now put the foundations underneath them. To build may have to be the slow and laborious task of years. To destroy can be the thoughtless act of a single day. When those who build buildings, bridges, dams, and railroads are forgotten, we shall remember and honor those who make it their first business to build a man. Build your life with an awareness of God as the foundation. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Start with God first. You are building on sand. Rome was not built in a day. The loftier the building, the deeper must the foundation be laid. Too low they build who build beneath the stars. Burden. Every man shall bear his own burden. Everyone thinks his own burden is heavy. No man ever sank beneath the burden of the day. It is when tomorrow's burden is added to the burden of today that the weight is more than we can bear. It is delightfully easy to live one day at a time. Not the load, but the overload kills. Burdens become light when cheerfully borne. Most of us give ourselves an immense amount of useless trouble, encumber ourselves as it were on the journey of life with a dead weight of unnecessary baggage. Anyone can carry his burden, however heavy, till nightfall, see. 
Anyone can do his work however hard for one day, see. Anyone can live sweetly, patiently, lovingly, purely till the sun goes down, see. And this is all that life ever really means. The workman who lightens the boss's burdens is always a favorite with the boss. No one knows the weight of another's burden. Let us not pray for lighter burdens, but for stronger backs. Take your burdens to the Lord. 